Just kidding, but okay, if your date, if you're planning on watching football, maybe, going tailgating, what is a tailgating experience without ample amounts of cheese? Okay, so a local cheese company recently won three huge awards, and we have the founder and president of Face Rock Creamery here Hello. tonight. Welcome, Greg. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. There's actually medals when you win cheese competitions. There's, when you win cheese awards, there actual is. medals. There is, I don't know, know what, right? what I was expecting, but maybe <laughs> like a, a giant cheese wheel award or something. So congratulations, what Thank are the you. awards that you guys just won? So uh, we won an award at what's called the American Cheese Society. And it's, uh, as you described, like the Oscars of cheese. <laughs> And uh, it's kind of in the, uh, I'd say, dog show uh, uh, fashion oh. where there's different categories. The uh, cheese has to like walk around. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no talent competition or okay. anything. But uh, every cheese variety has its own category. So if you win your category, then you're eligible for best of show. So similar to a dog show. And uh, Face Rock Creamery, we're located in Bandon, Oregon. We've been around for six years, and we're lucky to come home with three awards this year. And you've actually come home with a medal every year since 2013 that you've, we have. That you've been in, in the running? We have. We've been very lucky. Every year it's a different cheese, so uh, we're glad we have so many great cheeses we can show to everyone. Well, you have your beautiful award-winning cheeses next to their bright and shiny medals, and we have Nate and Megan, who are fresh from the newsroom, probably <laughs> drooling, hearing yes. about the award-winning cheese. Do you have, like, a favorite... Favorite style of cheese? I love a good sharp cheddar. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not near as much of a connoisseur, so I'm pretty sure all <laughs> these are going to blow my mind. I think you were going to say you weren't picky. There's no vegetables on the table. <laughs> no. Right? Cool. There's, no, there's not no. like secret broccoli nope. cheese nope. or something? This looks it's delicious. all authentic cheese. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, we had a vegan charcuterie segment last week, so we're so good. Okay, so what should we start with? I would start with uh, the one on uh, the left here. This is our... 12-month uh, aged cheddar, and this oh. was a, a third place winner this year. Uh, so all of our uh, cheese comes from local Let me dairies. Serve you guys some award-winning oh, cheese. Yes. Look at the <laughs> so free to try it. Welcome to I'm my cheese two. party. Yeah, why so not? So it's a it's a natural white cheddar cheese. Uh, all of our cheese is made in Bandon in our facility. All the milk comes from local dairies near us in Bandon. And uh, I love this cheese because it's very creamy. It has a really nice butter finish to it. Uh, I think a lot of cheddar sometimes can be a little bitter and sharp. This is really well balanced. Oh. And you can tell as you swallow it, the flavor stays with you for a while. Mm -hmm. But definitely still Yum. like a little sharp. It yep. definitely has a lot of flavor to it. What do you think? Delicious. That, that's one you, you can like, if it's at a party, you'll find yourself just eating and yeah. eating and eating. I was going to say, night. I would kill a whole bowl of that sitting <laughs> on the couch. The entire it, football game. The yeah. whole great thing. on burgers. It melts really well. It has, a, our milk has really high butter fat content, which makes a really creamy cheddar cheese. So Amazing. So Delicious. again, no vegetables. Yeah, obviously. really versatile cheese. <laughs> okay, this one looks really interesting. What is this one? It is, but I, I kind of want to save this one for last. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Right. Right. Yep. Go over here. Yep, that's our, that's our in-your-face spicy three uh, pepper cheddar. Ooh. So we, we play on, uh, on the words a little bit. And it's an uh, aged cheddar, so it's actually aged just as long as this one, 12 months. And then it has jalapeno, habanero, and sweet red pepper. So I oh. call it, it's kind of a medium okay. spice. And what I like about it, you see a lot of pepper cheeses, but they're usually a jack. This is a cheddar, so the base cheese has a lot of flavor and balances out the pepper. So mm. our cheese across the board is all about balance. We don't want it to be too much of any one thing. It definitely has some heat to it. It, it has definitely some kick. does. I really yeah. like that. And that's that the habanero, delicious. a little afterburner. Wow. <laughs> so do you put, would you put that on a burger? What do you do? Absolutely. With that one? Yeah, granite burgers, paninis. I love it in eggs. I like Ooh. I like spicy omelets, things yeah. like that. Do you just like melt it on nachos? Do you yeah, that too. Queso. I mean, all kinds of options. I feel like a burger would be like a really good thing for that for someone who's not a huge fan of spice, but just mm. likes a little bit of it because <laughs> yep. then mm -hmm. it gets caught in with everything else mm -hmm. in the burger. Exactly. Maybe mac and okay, cheese. Okay, now we have now this the grand one. winner. This, so this one I'm, I'm really proud of. It's a really unique cheese. It's, it's our peppercorn cloth bound cheddar. Now what? I'm going to turn this around because what's unique about this cheese is the rind of the cheese. So what we do is we take our cheddar curds, we form it into a, into a wheel, we wrap it in cheesecloth, and then we coat it in butter. Nice. So traditionally, English style uh, in this format, they use lard, but we use butter because our cheesemaker doesn't like to put lard on cheese. It's just kind of a mental thing there, but it's, it's, ch it's butter that we make at our factory, and it uh, creates a porous rind, so as it ages, the wheel actually shrinks. Wow. So the cheddar, it's going to be a drier texture, a little bit like a Parmesan in its texture. Oh, try not to drop this that beautiful award-winning <laughs> cheese as I hand it to you guys. That was our first place winner. So in addition to that wonderful cheddar, it has red and uh, green peppercorns in it. Mm. So not spicy, Whoa. but definitely kind of zesty. Mm. There's a lot of flavors going on. Yep. In so this much one. flavor. Yep. Yeah. Definitely got the pepper in there. And you can see the, the wonderful rind. It almost looks like the bark of a tree. 
That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Once you turned around, I was like, that like a looks birch like a tree. tree. Yeah. Can you tell They're how old the tree. cheese is based on the rind? <laughs> you can. You can. <laughs> you can. So that, that rind, it looks way different, say, six months before it's ready. So as it ages, the rind turns different colors, and we have to flip it and brush it and really take care of it. That's called affinage as you're aging the cheese. So. Now, before we run out of time, people can, of course, thirds. find Face Rock Creamery's cheese at lots of grocery stores, but yep. then you guys are going to be at Feast Portland. Yes, we are. True, yes. Right? Yeah, we're going to be at Feast, and we have uh, October is Oregon Cheese Month, so you'll oh, find oh, wonderful, great Oregon cheeses all throughout the city. So lots of great events coming up. Amazing. Well, congratulations again. Do you have a favorite? That Ooh, last that one. That last one. Yeah. Was <laughs> so good. They were all so good. Yeah. Okay. Now